Welcome to this week's edition of Outdoors Online, a weekly webcast produced by the North Dakota Game and Fish Department. I'm your host, Tom Jensen. Believe it or not, we have a hunting season right around the corner, and by right around the corner, we're talking just a couple of weeks yet. Uh, my guest this week is Mike Szymanski. Mike is the head waterfowl biologist with Game and Fish. We're going to talk about the early Canada goose season. Mike, let's talk about the season, when it is, and why we have it. Sure, Tom. We've, uh, we've had an August and September Canada goose season, collectively the, the early Canada goose season now for a number of years. We started um, actually back in 1999 with a couple of counties in the southeast part of the state, just in September, hunting Canada geese. Um, the next year it expanded statewide, and we've been, we've been hunting in September for for that whole time period and then in 2008 we added uh, some days in August uh, that are technically called a management take because they're outside of Migratory Bird Treaty Act days. But um, this was done in response to, um, at the beginning I think people kind of viewed it more as, hey, we've got this extra hunting opportunity and, and you know, we're, we're starting to get up to where we really have about as many Canada geese as we want. And uh, then it was kind of expanded over time with bag limits and especially the August part of it where we were directly trying to control populations using hunters, much in the same way we do with snow geese. It was to address deer or uh, goose depredation. Uh. Yeah, it's, it's a, a myriad of issues of being way over you know, our population objective and, and trying to um, locally reduce some numbers of geese where you know we're hoping that if if folks are having depredation problems with Canada geese they're letting hunters get in there and and get out on with some harvest. Just for Canada's? Yes this is a hunting opportunity just for Canada geese um, running through uh, late August and in mid-September. Several years ago you mentioned that we started off initially in the middle of September but we moved that up almost a month mid-August uh, why did we do that? Yeah, it's it's kind of shifted around a little bit. We uh, initially we hunted uh, September 1st through about the third week of September, but some evaluation showed we were shooting um, too many uh, smaller migrant Canada geese that were from actually the Arctic. Sure, those aren't the geese we're looking to harvest with this uh, early opportunity. We're trying to go after those big, uh, large type Canada geese that cause depredation issues and and breed in more temperate areas, North and South Dakota. You know, um, basically in the Dakotas ca causing summertime depredation issues. Um, but uh, yeah, we shifted back. Um, well, we, uh, in, in response to shooting uh, some of those migrant geese, we had some days taken off um, later in September. So we had to cut the date off firmly at September 15th in North Dakota. And then um, in 2008, once the, once the management action was finalized from the service, we were able to add those days in August. Uh, farmers are probably getting in their fields now, but then they got their, their crops planted fairly early this year. There's going to be years now when they get in the fields late that might be a problem finding harvested fields. It's, it's always a, a tricky deal trying to find the feeds um, early in the year like this. Some of it, like you're saying, is dependent on you know, when the fields are crop coming off, but some of it too is just how the geese move around. Um, this year was a, a very early year, both for the geese and farmers. Uh, we've had, uh, while well, we know, you know, crops have been coming off for a bit now. Um, some of it depends on the cropping patterns, uh, the types of crops planted. If there's a lot of corn and soybeans planted, there's probably not gonna be a lot of harvested fields, but if you get some peas and small grains and oats and things like that, there's going to be more more available fields to, to hunt that are at least harvested. There, you, you don't know if the geese are going there or not. But sure. then also, you know, a year like this, the the geese have been flying for quite a while. Fourth of July weekend, a lot of geese were already up in the air, moving around, and and they uh, they really can move around a lot after that. And uh, you just got to track them down. Do waterfall hunters use different techniques this time of year? It's early August. I mean. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, uh, Canada goose hunting is pretty tried and true in, in the way people go after it. There's not many people, um, you know, sneaking Canada geese or, or pass shooting Canada geese. It's, it's mostly done over uh, decoys in the field. Um, people really enjoy the calling aspects of Canada geese. Um, <clears throat> I would say the only, the only real uh, big changes that people might make are you know, possibly some different camo cap patterns using a little bit more green 
uh, in their stuff as, as a lot of vegetation hasn't dried up for the year yet. Um, certainly incorporating a little bit more bug spray <laughs> in, their, in their repertoire, although it's, uh, this year has not been too bad for, for bugs, at least, at least in our part of the state. Um, but a, a big one is, um, you know, probably getting out of fields earlier because it, it gets hot, um, you know, mid to late morning and, and really you don't need to be out in the field that time of day. The geese are pretty much done doing what they're going to do and getting out of the field early, beating the heat, getting your birds taken down before it gets real hot, making sure you have, you know, probably doing a little bit more planning ahead, I would mm -hmm. say, to, to deal with your birds. The bag limits are a bit higher in the in the early Canada goose season and it is warmer so um, that's that's probably a tactic that's a little bit different is maybe uh, people having a little bit better plan on how to deal with their birds. Non-residents have some different regulations to follow? It's it's pretty pretty well um, um, similar to, to the regulations that residents need to follow with the exception that non-residents buy a fifty dollar uh, license for the early season and that covers them through the whole early season. It doesn't affect anything they do in the regular water. The days don't anymore. count against their, yep. Uh, their... Yep, so pretty straightforward deal. You know, they need to get their HIP registration done for North Dakota. Um, beginning September 1st, everybody needs to have, well, everybody that's 16 and older needs to have a, a duck stamp, a federal duck stamp, in addition to their additional state license requirements. A lot of times yeah. these are juvenile birds, too, that... Uh, not so decoy wise and things. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's uh, there are, there are some aspects like that where you can get some pretty pretty easy decoying uh, if you get the right group of birds. They're not they're not all juveniles. Uh, you know, you get some flocks of birds that are uh, molt migrant adults and sub adults that may be a little bit more wary. But you you can get some flocks that have a, a very large composition of young birds that are are pretty inclined to land with decoys. I would guess scouting would be uh, a little more advantageous this time of year. You actually have to find concentrations of birds. Yeah, it's it's definitely one of those uh, seasons where you do need to be right where the birds are. There's no there's no hoping to you know run traffic on geese that are maybe flying by a couple miles away or anything like that. You you really need to be in the field where the birds are. Some Sometimes if it's a really big field, you might want to make sure you're in the part of the field that the geese are using too. All right, Mike, thanks. You bet, Tom. The early Canada goose season opens Friday, August 15th and runs through September 15th, except in the Missouri River Zone, where the season ends a week earlier, September 7th. As Mike mentioned, the season is for Canada geese only. The bag limit is 15 daily and 45 in possession. Hunters should be aware that shooting hours are different than the regular season. Hours for the early season are from a half hour before sunrise to sunset daily. Licensing requirements are a bit different too. Residents need a $5 early Canada goose license and a general game and habitat license. Plus, those 16 and older need a small game license. Non-residents need only a $50 early Canada goose license. Plus, for residents and non-residents 16 and older, a federal duck stamp and HIP certification are required beginning September 1st. For additional information and regulations, log on to the Game and Fish website at gf.nd.gov. For Mike Samansky and the rest of the staff here at North Dakota Game and Fish, thanks for joining us for Outdoors Online. We'll see you again next week.